Hi, and welcome back. I have a rehousing video for you today. This is going to be the Cereopagopus species Hadi Hadi, which is a tarantula from Indonesia. Um, this is a tarantula that I am tarantula sitting, and it was in need of a larger enclosure, so I built the critter keeper that I featured last week. Uh, for this one and also I will be doing the other rehousing of the an INSE communal in a separate video but as a bonus I'm going to uh, show you the little pea Cambridge eye that I rehoused into uh, um, kind of like a clear Tupperware container so that's going to be tagged on to the end of this video I'm going to try to uh, get my videos ahead of time and schedule them so that I might be a week or so out so I can also let you know what to expect uh, when I do that. I'm going to have uh, a video that features something a little uncomfortable which is the loss of my first male tarantula during a breeding. So I was really disappointed about it and it was a my friend's tarantula. He was the cutest little guy. He was about the cutest little guy you could possibly sacrifice. And I don't know if she took. So it was a little disappointing, but I, I want to show you that and I want to talk a little about it, my thoughts about it. So that will be coming up soon. And I'm also going to do an enclosure build for a wolf spider. This one's going to have a background made from foam with um, some cocoa fiber. Uh, texture on the back and just I, I don't know what I'm gonna make it into but I want it to be interesting for her so that's gonna be a 10 gallon tank and I'm gonna do that soon so those are all things coming up and uh, I am very excited I might not seem excited right now I'm just kind of a little overwhelmed I have a lot going on in my life um, and uh, yeah but I'm very happy to be back here making videos again and uh, I hope that you enjoy this rehouse. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. I would, I would love to have you and be able to share my journey with you. So thank you very much and you have a wonderful day. Here I am going to rehouse a Cereopagopus species hottie hottie. Um, you can see it's in this jar. It's in the bottom down here. This one's about that big. It's been coming to the surface a lot. Probably hungry. So, might be a little skittish. Now, hati hati means caution. This little one is in the very bottom, getting quite dirty. It's a shame we have to mess up all of the webbing. There. You know, I really have to say that the only thing that you can really do after taking precautions when you're rehousing your tarantulas, particularly the old worlds, is to just gain experience. I mean, over time, you just learn things, you know, like that the tarantulas go up. They tend to climb up. They like to go, like if you hold a, a container up like this and the tarantula's inside and you try to get it out, sometimes they'll go over the lip and back down onto your hand. It's a very common move that they have. All right, so there we are. Let's see the species hottie hottie. Cup that has a, no, I didn't, I did it again. You'll see that I do that a lot. I get my cup that doesn't have a hole in it. So that means it's a little harder. To get the little bugger out, but what I'm going to do is put it like this. Too much of my hand in the way. 
take that out. And try to work this in there. Sometimes these Asian old worlds are very, I don't know if stubborn is the word for it, but they'll do like this one's doing and just kind of sit there. My Flamingo Kylis species Rufus was one that was particularly fun. You can see that video if you look back and through my videos, um, rehousing that one. <laughs> Did not want to go into the new enclosure. See, this one is just clenching up more when I touch it. It could just turn and bolt right out over the top and onto my hand. It's possible. But it's not so far. Come on, little one. Now the best thing I could have done in this scenario was to use my, okay, I can tilt it up a little bit, to use my cup that has a hole in the bottom of it. Okay, a little fart. We got a lot to place to go back there. The one thing when they, <laughs> yeah, they do that a lot. They crawl back in. All right. All right, stinker. All right, come on. Come on. I'm just touching the front feet, hoping he or she will turn around and go out. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Not biting or bolting. Just not moving much. Okay, now we're getting a threat pose. It's kind of deciding he's had enough. Come on, let's go out. Okay, back leg is up over the top of the lip of the enclosure. Getting a little bit of a threat pose there. Go into your new home. Let go. Come on, let go. There we go. Very good. Go all the way in. Come on, go on. Go all the way in all your feet with you. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't too bad, was it? And it's true what they say, that it's good to remain calm. So there's your Cereopagopus species hottie hottie, rehoused into its new arboreal type enclosure. Juvenile, have a lot more room in there. All right, 